Oh, I'm just going to uh, do a bit of cycling now down by the by the leet because um, we want to get on with that. And uh, there's the tools I've just brought me just in case. There's a fork in the, in the uh, over there, and down there is a sickle, a sharpening stone, obviously, and my stick and a billock, and some gloves. Uh, I bring the billock and I want and the gloves because uh, I'll. Um, I may find some brown wood here, and as I said to you, you only use a sickle for sharpening, uh, for cutting green wood. So if I meet any brown wood, I'm going to use the billock or leave it and then come back with the billock. So I'm going down here, and I'm going to sickle as far as, I don't know, can you see? Yeah, just in the very slight distance past that red tree, or by it, is a, is a yellow flower, a yellow leaf tree. It's about 30 meters or just less than it, something like that. So that's where we're heading for. And I'll sickle down here. And I'll try and keep you in picture because uh, a lot of people think that I don't make enough videos about what I'm doing. And um, about a, a yard wide, less, something less than a meter wide. And the sickle has been uh, sharpened before, so. Um, it should be all right. I'll just have a little look, and uh, let me take it from there. And that's it. So you just sharpen down there, and then take the burr up on the on the other side. All right. So I don't know if you're in picture. Sharpen, sharpen, burr up. Sharpen, burr up. Sharpen, burr up. When I do that, I like that. And when I come here, I turn my hand like that because it gives me a better feel on, on the sickle down there. Okay, that's like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it should be sharp enough to do that without any further further work on, on the on the sickle. So right, we'll carry on down there, just have a bit of a look, looking in the picture. About a meter wide. Here we go. Just take them back. What's the stick? So that's it, I'll bring you on a shade now, we keep on going. As I say, I'll leave any brown wood, sickle is only used for green. Because if you're tempted to use it for something else, 
Then you take the edge off straight away. And you have to stop and sharpen your sickle. So I'll carry on going. If I'm out, if I'm out of picture, I won't be long. I'll come back and check on you. I don't know how close we are because I haven't had a look at you. I want to keep, keep, keep you coming with me because I know a lot of people are a little bit disappointed the last time I'd, I'd done this path. It shot off out of sight. So, just keep you in picture. Oh, we just go on a little bit, that's opened the path out for us. A um, little bit tender for me now to put this up here. I can see roughly how far we can go now. And it's quite all going.
Oh, then we come as far as there, about halfway, I would think. And I um, want a bit of a slide this, so I'm going to have to adjust the, the camera angle for us. There we are, get that upright. And let's have a look. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> it's a bit narrow here because I'm liable to fall in the leet. And uh, this is uh, a left handed sickle, cut like that. I mean, cut like that. Doesn't make a lot of difference, and you can use both hands. Still with me. So, you notice that you can use the sickle with either hand, but preferably the way it's handed, but it doesn't make a lot of difference. So I can't kind of bring you down here, because we're getting close now to, uh, to home, as you think. It's um, covered about 20 meters, I would think. And hopefully, I can't tell. Hopefully we are in picture. We've got a bit now, you can see how overgrown this is. The reason I'm cutting it is because we may sell this place. People may want to walk down here to look on it. Normally I don't cut it at this time of year. I cut it in about September. But these are seeded now, so I'm just cutting a swath. And there and there will be cut in September. Onto the left and the right, just a bit in front so people can walk along.
I'm leaving you behind again, so I better bring me forward again. It's a long little piece. Getting to the end now. And uh, this will be the last move, I think. And let's get you back in picture. Yeah, about that. And that will take us to where we're going. So, um, I think you're still in picture there. Let's have a look. Just coming to the yellow tree now. We'll go around this corner now, past these hostas, and that's where we join another path, and that's as far as we go. That's a nice little thing. It's something that's still flowering. So I'm going to put it up there. I'm not going to cut it off. them for the bees. We haven't got any bees at the moment because Mr. Badger came round and ate all three of my bees nests in the ground. We don't have any bees. So the crop of, in our garden will be lowered as it will be nationally. And uh, And that's it. Now then, um, what I'll do now, I'll go and get the fork and we'll clean up a bit because the camera's still running. So I don't know what the, how much long that has taken, but it runs for half an hour before it cuts out. a long way back. <laughs> so, uh, surprising how far we got. So, as long as the camera keeps running, I'll keep going. All right? So, 
what it'll fall in a ravine here because the path is quite narrow. But uh, we'll see. So I'm not glad I got up to here. We move back now, we're going backwards. If I put you here, oh, camera fell down. If I come back to here, that's it. You should be able to see what I'm doing. Gathering up. And I'll keep going until the camera goes off. Some of the things I've deliberately left behind because they're flowering. And I wouldn't normally sickle this time of year. I would sickle in September when all the wild plants have seeded. But the bass, some of them have seeded already. So uh, I took a chance because I wanted to. And I've um, cut the ones that I have cut. I just put that right on the step on the step. There we are, what have we got left here? cameras on the way so I can't go much further because you'll be probably losing pictures shortly. So we just gather up what I've done here. And then just gather it like that at an angle, turn it around, lock it in and lift it up. And away we go. So, it's the following day, I just coming past, so I just took a little bit of video of, um, of the path that we've done to show you that um, it all looks a lot better now. It's more comfortable to walk along. And uh, that's it. Let's carry on. There's the box glove, still here, <laughs> and uh, so that will be more pleasant to walk along. And then um, about September, October, I clean the I clean the loot out, uh, the, uh, the vegetation, all the way up, and then it regrows, and that's uh, that's what I do. But uh, this was just a temporary one because uh, we want to just make a path through. So that's it. Just comes out here by these hostas. I think they're hostas. Nice, uh, healthy ones along the path here. We go up to the, we go up to where I put the stuff in the wood, the brushings as I call it. And um, we we'll see where, where they've gone. So we just go up here, da da da, round the corner. And I just took them here in the woods, see, bit of a pile there, if we go on to here, bit of a pile there. So that's it, That's uh, that was the path all done, done and dusted in about 20 minutes and that, well, well, took a bit of time to move the camera, etc. So uh, that's what I'd expect to do with that. And as I say, there's a bit of brushing to do, or, uh, you know, uh, but uh, this will be done September, October to just finish this off. Once gone, we go up here and uh, we'll have a look. Quite a nice day today because uh, it's not sunny, but it's quite uh, mild. And uh, I think it's going to rain, which will help the garden a bit. And uh, that's a good, that's something <laughs> good will come of it. So, a bit of select, you can see with a bit of selected sickling how you can do it and uh, make sure that you, you're, you've got a good edge and you keep a good edge and you should be okay.